Hey everybody, it's Jason with Parallel Reality coming back with you here today with an article from townhall.com from July 9th. And it says, guess who's funding pro-Hamas chaos in the U.S. according to the Director of National Intelligence. And before I scroll down, I'm going to give you one guess. You're probably going to know it's it's a country. Guess guess which country. And the Hamas word should be a, a, a hint towards it. And no, it's not uh, Gaza because they're not an actual country. But it's who's backing them, of course. So it says, the Director of National Intelligence, Avril Haines, confirmed in a statement released on Tuesday that actors tied to Iran's government have been growing increasingly aggressive in their foreign influence efforts, including, but not limited to, fomenting pro-Hamas protests in the United States and providing funding for the supposedly spontaneous uh, movement calling for the elimination of Israel and the murder of Jews. Uh, isn't there something illegal about this? I mean, I don't know. I don't know the law, like, at all, but it seems like it might be something a little illegal. It says, released as the first of what will be regular updates regarding foreign efforts to influence our democratic process, or processes, is leading into the presidential and congressional elections this year, Haynes reported, that Iran is becoming increasingly aggressive in their foreign influence efforts, seeking to stoke discord and undermine confidence in our democratic institutions, as we've seen them do in the past, including in prior election cycles. So instead of Russia, Russia, Russia this year, is it going to be Iran, Iran, Iran? Who knows? But we're already seeing Russia being brought back into this is like, oh, Russia's doing it again. It's like, uh, we didn't we haven't we done this already? <laughs> didn't we do this in from 2016 to 2020? Do we do we really need to do this again? Anyway, there's warning that the Iranian regime and its assets continue to adapt their cyber and influence activities using social media platforms and issuing threats. Haynes said it is likely they will continue to rely on their intelligence services in these efforts, as well as Iran-based online influencers to promote their narratives. Specifically, Haynes said that Iranian government actors have sought to opportunistically take advantage of ongoing protests regarding the war in Gaza using a playbook we've seen other actors use over the years in recent weeks. As we have observed actors tied to Iran's government posing as activists online, seeking to encourage protests, and even providing financial support to protesters, Haynes added. And this is basically uh, from Spencer Brown, who might have actually, let me scroll back up here, may have actually written this article. He did. So it's from his own tweet. And then, uh, the first part we already went over. second part says, what is Biden doing to stop the world's leading state sponsor of terror from funding anti-Israel chaos in the U.S.? Probably nothing, because he doesn't give a crap. says, as a member of the Biden administration, Haynes, of course, had to show deference to the pro-Hamas radicals taking to America's streets. Of course she did. Some of whom she just confirmed are being prodded and or funded by the genocidal regime in Tehran. She said, I want to be clear that I know Americans who participate in protests are, in good faith, expressing their views in the con on the conflict in Gaza. This intelligence does not indicate otherwise, Haynes' statement couched. What part of cheering Hamas and Hezbollah terrorists are calling for the death of innocent Jews is good faith, exactly. Yeah, that's the, pro that's the problem I have with that statement. As, like, I mean, protesting, fine, whatever. I'm not big on the protesting thing. Um, I've kind of always looked down on people protesting things, to be perfectly honest. But, I mean, trying to say that these people are doing it in good faith is the opposite of what is actually happening. It's extremely bad faith. Because moreover, the freedom to express diverse views when done peacefully is essential to our democracy, you mean our regime, but it is also important to warn of foreign actors who seek to exploit our debate for their own purposes, Haynes continued. Well, then do something about it, okay, instead of just talking. As Haynes added that Americans who are being targeted by this Iranian or campaign may not be aware that they are interacting with or receiving support from a foreign government and urged all Americans to remain vigilant as they engaged online with accounts or actors they do not personally know. Well, here comes a yawn. I am not cutting that out. Sorry about that. Back to the article. As a statement from Haynes confirms what was already clear to honest observers of the pro-Hamas chaos that took over city streets and supposedly elite campuses. But what is the Biden administration doing to prevent Iran, the leading state sponsor of terrorism, from funding pro-terrorist protests on U.S. soil? bad enough that Biden's weakness has emboldened Iran and its terrorist proxies, including attacks on U.S. troops in the region that have claimed multiple American service members' lives, allowing Tehran to muck about in the U.S. by stirring up and bankrolling rapidly anti-Israel and anti-American. Agitators is yet another example of Biden's feckless policy towards our foes that amounts to a green light for more foreign interference by those who wish us harm. So Biden's not doing anything about it, as I said already, and the Director of National Intelligence just seems to be kind of like, oh, well, I guess that they're allowed to do it. You know, that that's fine that they're allowed to, you know, if, they're, if it's in good faith. So she's not going to do crap about it either. But we know who's doing it. So 
do something, Biden administration. I feel like that it's that meme right now of the dude with the stick poking something saying, do something. But he's not because, you know, our president is an actual corpse. Anyway, what do you think about this? Let me know in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.